I'm here with Roger Embry with Dominion Energy, and we are standing on Route 7 in the Falls Church area. Route 7 here is closed because of all the storm damage. We have wires down and a pole and cross arms down, and in front of me uh, as well, another uh, another pole down. Roger, tell us, describe the extent of this damage. Uh, right here in this section, we've got probably, we got four poles broken, and we've probably got eight spans of wire down that we have to rebuild from the ground up. There's nothing left to attach to, we gotta rebuild it all. And that takes time. That takes a lot of time. Uh, this was a bad storm. Uh, I live uh, not very far from here and we heard some loud cracks of lightning. Uh, oh, yeah. what, what does it look like to you? It looks bad. It looks bad, <laughs> it looks it bad. Looks really bad. Whatever brought these trees down, whether it was lightning or just strong winds, we don't know, but the point is, Lots of trees are down, not yep. just trees, but branches. And large trees. Large trees. I've seen a lot of uh, trees and branches leaning on power lines, yep. too. Stay away from all down lines, Stay right? away from the down lines, and if there's something laying on the ground you don't know about, call. Yeah, because call. Then and somebody will come look. And don't go touch that branch that's no, touching the line. <laughs> that could, be, that could yeah. be energized, and you could be electrocuted. Yep. It's very, very dangerous. If you have a line that's down, I just saw one drooping yep. uh, that you could easily touch. Stay away from that. Don't touch it. And don't assume just because you don't have power that the line's not energized. People have generators that can backfeed onto our line. Mm -hmm. um, that's why, like in this case, we're having to cut wire that we can put grounds up to protect our mm -hmm. people while we're working. Mm -hmm because generators will backfeed. We've got estimated uh, restoration times out and we're saying I think midnight tonight. I think Route 7 is going to have to be closed for a while. It's going to be closed for a little while. This, most of the day, probably, I would say. At least a quarter mile of it closed. It's probably going to be closed most of the day. 